Well, hello everyone again. This is Mark. Again, Matt is still away, so it's just me for today. And I think we'll talk about... Well, oh, hello oh, I'm getting some reverb. Sorry, this, wait a second. This is Mark. Again, Matt is still away. Okay, perfect. Now, now it's just me. Good, <laughs> sorry. Um, but we'll just talk about restaurants a little bit. I actually just had lunch. And for lunch, I had some uh, hot pot, some Chinese hot pot. And actually, my tongue is on fire. Maybe you've heard that before, right? Just like if we said, on fire. It means I ate some very, very spicy food. So my tongue is very, very hot right now. I'd say my tongue is on fire. But when we go to restaurants, when we want to order food, right, there are many different English phrases that you'll hear from uh, the staff at the restaurant, right? The waiter or waitress, the people that you interact with at the store. So I thought today we would just go over some of those phrases that you'll often hear when you are uh, at a restaurant or a cafe, okay? So if, I, the tech, if the technology works for me, I should be able to show you some of the different sentences that, look at deja vu, sentences, oh, maybe it won't work, let's see, I want to, put right there, okay, we're all set, and I'll turn off the back one so it doesn't look crazy, okay, and now, right, you should see me in the corner, and we'll walk through some of these common phrases that you will see whenever you are with a waiter or at a restaurant, right? So often, one thing the waiter can say is, right, can I help you? And of course, they're asking, right, do you need anything, right? Can I do something for you? Right? You can say, oh, uh, I'm not ready yet, or, oh, I'm ready to order. They might even ask you directly if they see that you have the menu, you've been looking at the different foods available, and they think you've already decided, they think you know what you want, so they can ask, are you ready to order, All right? And when they ask, are you ready to order, you have some options. You could say, no, maybe not yet. I'm not ready yet, or some people say, give me a minute, give me a minute, All right? You wanna look a little longer at the menu. So you say, give me a minute, give me, give me some more time. So you have a little more time to see what food you want, okay? And then finally, right, once you actually decide what you want to get, right, once you know what you want, they will ask you, right, well, what would you like? What specific food would you like from our menu? And then, of course, you answer, you know, I'd like the Caesar salad and a, a cafe latte, All right? So you're gonna tell them what you want after they ask you that type of question. Often, after you order, you might say, I want the hamburger with French fries, I want pizza, right? You give them the food order, they will often ask you a second question, which is, right, would you like something to drink, right? Would you like something to drink with your meal? And it's okay to say no thanks. Many people will say, uh, just water, please, right? Just water, that's perfectly fine. If you want to buy something else, you can, but you can say just water. Often restaurants will ask you if you want uh, sparkling water. Right, we have sparkling water or some restaurants just maybe tap water. Tap water is the like regular water or still water. Right, that just comes out of the water faucet. Sparkling water has the bubbles. So if you want those, say that. Also, you should tell the waiter or waitress um, if you don't want ice, okay? You can say no ice, please, uh, if you don't want ice. Usually they will give you ice. So if you're someone who doesn't like having too much ice, or you can even just say warm water, please. 
I find that in a lot of Chinese restaurants, they'll actually ask if you want warm, warm water, hot water, uh, cold water. They can be very uh, accommodating. They can be very flexible with what they give you at the restaurant. So feel free to be specific with your waiter or waitress whenever you want a specific type of item. And right, so they've gotten your food order, they have your drink order, and the last thing they might say is, can I get you anything else? They just want to make sure that uh, you have ordered everything you want before they take the order and give it to the cook in the kitchen, right? So you can, yeah, you can answer right, anything else you'd like. Often also, I, I forgot, sometimes they will also repeat your order, okay? Many restaurants do a good job of repeating your order so that you can confirm that they've heard everything that you said, right? Many restaurants, they'll repeat back to you exactly what you ordered. Especially since English is not your first language, this is a very good way for you to double check to see if your order is correct or not. So um, I think that's even you can even request like, could you repeat back my order to me? Could you repeat my order uh, for me? Right. Or repeat or could you um, confirm my order could you repeat my order back to me right I think maybe that's even better could you repeat my order back to me if you're not sure if the waiter heard what you wanted him to hear that's a great way for you to check okay and then my final question you might hear is would you like dessert this is something that happens, right? This is something that happens after you have finished your main course, right? The main part of your meal, after you finished, they might ask you this additional question, would you like some dessert? Because, right, the waiter wants to sell you a little more food if he can. He can ask you if you want the cake or anything else specific. He'll, uh, for the desserts and then in addition, these are two things you might not always hear, but they're uh, good to be aware of. They, a waiter might also recommend things for you, all right? If he sees you at the restaurant, maybe he notices that you're a new customer. Maybe you haven't seen these menu items before. He can recommend what you should buy from him, right? So we have the I recommend uh, as... Uh, I recommend as something he might say. I recommend the pasta dish today. All right? He recommends the pasta to you. Or he might say something like, uh, the pasta is very popular. He's telling you this pasta on the menu is one that many people like to buy. So it's something where he can kind of nudge you or convince you to buy uh, a certain type of food uh, in order to uh, help you make, your, make up your mind, help you choose what dish to order. The other thing many restaurants have are specials. They might say, today's specials are the, the pepperoni pizza, right? Oh, whoops, pepper. <laughs> pepperoni pizza and the pasta, right? So maybe that restaurant has a special item only for today, right? That special item that you can ask for. So of course you can also listen closely to see if there's a special. And if, you, if you're not sure, if you think there might be a special but he does not tell you, you can ask what are the specials specials for today right what are the specials for today 
So that's all the waiter side. Now I'll give you some questions that you can ask. If the waiter is too slow or doesn't come to you, you can be the one to start the conversation as the, as the customer. So for customers, you can ask the waiter many questions, right? Things like, what do you recommend? What, or like we said before, what is popular here? What is the most popular menu item here? To really get an idea about what this restaurant is famous for or well known for, it's a great uh, way to learn what you should order, especially in a different country. For example, the first time I went to Japan, I couldn't read the menu and I didn't know what different foods were. So I always said the Japanese phrase, right? Uh, which is, oh, can I say it? Osusume, right? I asked for the osusume item in Japan, right? So with that, I could check with the waiter what was popular at that restaurant. So in Japanese, I had that phrase I could use. Even if you go to a, I think, well, when you travel, most countries speak English. So you can use these phrases in most countries. What's popular? What do you recommend? And again, we have this idea of specials, right? Do you have any specials, any special foods, right? Um, special menu items that we can order. Another thing that we see at restaurants often is uh, rotating menu items. For example, soups. If you go to a cafe or a restaurant, they might have a different soup every day. They might have a daily soup that they rotate. So you need to ask them, what soup do you have today? Or what is your soup today? To check and see what they have. Some other restaurants also have seasonal items like seasonal seafood, right? There are some fish or some meats, some types of cuisine, right? Some types of food that are only available certain times of the year. So you can also ask about the seasonal items available. What is very fresh this time of year? We live in Singapore, so in Singapore, it doesn't change. We have no seasons in Singapore, but in many other countries, they have special foods for different times of the year. So you can always check about those seasonal items. Okay. And my last final, final three, I know we've gone through a lot. Our final three questions uh, that you can ask are about the set. If you get a set meal, that is a meal where you get the main food, but you also get other things with your meal. For example, at McDonald's, a McDonald's set would be a hamburger and fries and a drink, right? That's a set meal. In many countries, we have set meals or the, um, or the, the full meal instead of just one item, right? So you can, you can confirm if the set does come with a drink or not, right? There's those. And then the three questions. When you're actually ordering, you can do, uh, you can say things like this. Could I have a cheese burger, right? Could I have a cheeseburger? Right? You tell that to the waiter and he'll get that for you. Or I'll have the, I always do pasta. I'll have the tuna salad sandwich right or i'll have i'll have the iced tea or i'd like i'd like bubble tea <laughs> if you like bubble tea you guys out there all right all of those are good and let me just i'm going to quickly check back to our facebook i haven't been checking comments <laughs> so if you did comment, I'm just going to check right now to see if any of you have any questions about what we've gone over so far. All right? You can even see my Facebook now, right? 
where we can just see kind of deja vu the video right so oh we do have some comments so let's see if uh, there are any questions you would like me to answer right and for those of you commenting remember I cannot see you right whoops I cannot see you I can only see your comments right so here we have several people commenting right so that is the space where you can leave comments to the video like Jolie I see Jolie commented so if you're still watching Jolie nice to see you right we have Tran we have so a, a whole list of people who came on and joined the video while I was recording this video so of course please always say hello if you can like the video do your best to uh, try to participate try to share your ideas with me and it will help make these videos even better okay so I think if there's no questions right no questions from the Facebook so I think I'll leave the video there for today so no more uh, no more explanation today again if that was interesting or you enjoyed the video please share it with your friends please uh, take your time and you can review it with us right if uh, if the video was more was too difficult of course you can tell us that as well right you can tell me that and I can try to slow it down for you or help you with specific challenges that you have I think next week Matt will be back so uh, Matt and I we will tag team again starting from maybe, maybe not next week never mind Matt is coming back end of next week so if he comes we can we will see Matt again if not I will I think continue this restaurant theme with you next week so we can talk about restaurants in different countries right there are some things that you do in America for example that you wouldn't do in a restaurant in Japan or China different ways to pay different uh, things that are expected of you being a guest in a restaurant so we will talk about those next week but for now uh, I hope you have a wonderful weekend have a wonderful time uh, enjoying the rest of your week and I will see you when we meet online again so Bye-bye.